let's go. Hello and welcome to today's live, which is all about how to launch like a boss. Now, this is very close to my heart because I have spent many, many years now, many, many investments doing many different coaches um, and mentors, programs, courses, um, one-on-one coaching packages to really nail launching, okay? And launching can be made out to be this big kind of monster, like, oh my goodness, launching, it's so stressful, and it's so, ah, and it's so much pressure. And I get that, like, I totally get that. I've been there, I felt that pressure, I felt it was this big monster, like, I have felt that. Um, And now, from doing all of that and trying out all of the methods, like, I have tried out so many methods of launching that I've found myself, I've found my own, I've created Launch Like a Boss to teach you how to do it in a way that not, yes, of course we want it to be profitable. Of course, this is why we're launching, we're selling our offers, this is why we do what we do. But, so the profit's one side of it, but most importantly, we want to enjoy it, right? I done an Insta story this morning, I'm in, in mid-launch at the moment, of me dancing around my kitchen. Now to, to lots of people, that isn't how you should seriously launch, right? But that's how I launch and I have fun in my business. And for me, really leaning into what feels good for me, when I feel good, I do good. And when I do good, that's my energy magnetizes and attracts the most incredible souls to come and join my offers. So no, I don't think you need to be serious. And no, I don't think you need to send out 100 emails a day. And no, I don't think you need to be everywhere all of the time. There is a strategy. So this is what I'm going to teach you and what you actually should be focusing on. So if you're not, for example, I launch every single month in my business, every single month without fail. Now, if launching was stressful, um, a burn, would burn me out, um, something I didn't enjoy, do you think I would be launching something different, may I add, every single month? Do you think I'd be able to? And can we just add this for context? I work three days a week. The other two days I spend with my son. So this isn't a full-on maxed, oh my goodness, you've got to do this every single day. What I teach my clients is how to have a freaking great time, how to sell your offers where you're excited, your vibe is is there. You know, you don't have to be, which, which comes down to the mindset stuff, so I'll talk about that in a moment. But the one thing that you can't do when it comes to um, launching is pick up some spaghetti, chuck it at the wall and see what happens. Post once, oh my goodness, Natasha, it's not working, my launch is failing. Okay, what exactly, what's your launch strategy? I don't have one. What I do is I just jump on and I talk about this, or sometimes I just do this, or I post, or I send out 100 emails. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, first things first. To launch like a boss, you need a plan. You need a map. You need a strategy. A strategy to sell your offers. This is what you are doing when you are launching. Okay, you are offering your solution to your audience's problems. That's what you're doing. You are offering them your offer. In the, how you do it, it can be very, very different. And this is what I like to teach in Launch Like a Boss because it's kind of like, I'm going to teach you the structure. I'm going to teach you the stages of launching because that's very, very important. The stages of when and what you do and also the stages of when and when and how people buy. This is also really important to understand and know. The sales psychology behind it. So, you're going to learn that. So when it comes to what do I do now, you know, you have a clear map, a roadmap of what exactly your strategy for your your uh, launch is looking like, what's being like. So you have none of this overwhelm. You have none of this. I don't know what to do. I don't. What do I do now that this situation has happened? What do I do now that this situation's happened? Right? Because I remember kind of being brainwashed into. You should only focus on the one thing that you are offering. But that's very, very different for very, very different amounts of people. What do I mean by this? You absolutely can launch two things at the same time, but there is a strategy towards it. I've done this many, 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 many times um, of different offers, actually. But there are... You need to know what you kind of can and can't launch of what makes, like, it doesn't make sense to launch exactly the same two things, the same offers. Like, that is an absolute no-no. And I, I teach all this in Launch Like a Boss. It's so important to understand what you can be doing and what, I don't like to say can and can't, but, like, what makes sense to do and what doesn't make logical sense to do. And that's what I'm going to teach you because you absolutely 
can sell offers at the exact same time when you're doing the one launch. Okay, that I just want to put that out there. The second thing is, it isn't the same thing to launch an online course than it is to do one-on-one -on -one coaching package. They're two very, very different things. So you need to understand the launch method behind those two things, okay? There are also things to understand before you even think about um, doing this launch, whatever it may be. There's things that you need to have in place before you do this, okay? The second big thing of how to launch like a boss is your mindset. You need your toolbox on point when it comes to launching. Why? Let's say when you're just about to launch, how excited are you? You're backing it, your energy's there, you're like, oh, I'm so excited about this, this offer, I'm so excited about this product, I'm so excited about this service. I'm, like, you're hyped, aren't you? And you go out there and amazing, you, you put it out there to your audience. And let's just say no one buys. Well, the mind monkeys come in. Whoa, they told you this wasn't going to work. You can't sell this. Your audience don't have the money. Your audience isn't your right ideal clients. No one's going to buy this. It's a waste of time. You look silly. You should just give up your business, right? That's one side of it. The other side to it is you sell, people buy. Amazing. But it's not the amount that you thought it was going to be. Let's say you had a goal and intention for the first 24 hours to look like this, and it doesn't. It looks like this. The mind monkeys come in. See, there's no way you could ever do these numbers. You've got X amount in the first 24 hours. That's it. The sales are going to dry up. You're not going to be able to sell anymore. That's it. Give up. The launch is a, a failure. You're a failure. It's not going to happen. Everybody else can launch apart from you. How are you dealing with that? How are you dealing with those mind monkeys that are coming into your mind? Right? Then, when it comes to the end of the launch, you're so excited. Cart's closing. It's all feeling really good. You've got X amount of people in there or you've still got this amount of time before um, you get people into the program, the service, the offer. But what about the mid-launch? What about the bit in between that kind of plateaus? The mind monkeys really come out to play here. Because when the, and this is the most naturally quiet part of a launch, how are you keeping yourself there? How are you keeping the vibe up? How are you keeping the personal power? How are you keeping the belief in yourself? You know, it's very, very easy to have the belief in yourself when the sounds are like ding, 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 ding. That's really easy, right? We can all do that when our Stripe notifications are going off. We can have the personal power. We can be like, boom, this launch was a success. I feel so freaking good. Great. What happens when that isn't happening? The number isn't as big as what you thought it was going to be. The, the, they're not selling out as quick as the hotcakes that you thought it was going to be. Then what? Because the mind monkeys will come in. And this is why having that mindset toolbox is crucial in launching. I would actually say it's probably around, I, I, I'm going to say 80% of the success that you have in the launch is because being able to nail this. Being able to nail this. Can you do that? Can you detach away from the outcome, the result? Can you? So I'm going to teach you in launch like a boss. And the third key part to this is having support. Once you're able to now the strategy and then you're able to now the mindset stuff, having the support within a launch is so, so important. And what I'm actually going to do in launch like a boss, is I'm actually going to give you an audio that you can listen to. That's kind of like your coach in your pocket, Tash in your pocket, the little pocket rocket that when you're going through that launch, you have got me in your ear supporting you, cheerleading you on, like I do with my one-on-one -on -one clients, okay? This is crucial. and also going to create my, and give to you, my spiritual sops for what I do when launching, okay? I want to reveal all because it's taken me, I've been six years in business, to finally get to a point in, in, in that I've nailed to my launching, that I love launching, that it doesn't feel pressure. And like I've mentioned before, I've done so many different launches from... Um, programs to online courses to my membership to uh, live events like I've, a array of different things that I've sold power hours like I've done it all and done it all in very different ways as well I've done it with ads without ads and what I'm going to teach you is the different ways in which you can do it but I'm not I'm going to teach you exactly how to I do it now so organically that's what I'm going to teach you okay I this is for you, for example, if you are somebody that is new to launching, okay? You've never, you've never launched something before. You have, you've kind of just tilted on the edge. This is for you. But this also is for you for someone that's done loads of launches. You're like, yeah, I know how to launch. Uh, 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 yeah. 
but you're not enjoying it. It's not feeling pleasurable. It doesn't excite you. It's not making you go, oh yeah. Like you wanna see how I do things. You wanna see the soul strategy. You wanna understand my logical thinking, my spiritual sassiness throughout launching so that you can then implement that into your business. That's what I want. This is what I wish that I had. When I was learning on my launch, I'm like, boom, I love that. Oh my God, that coach taught me that. That is amazing. Oh, yeah, but I don't like that. That's too masculine. Okay, yeah, love that, but it's a bit too leaned back for me. Okay, what if I could do this and this and this? Oh, this feels good. Oh, this feels good. This feels good. And of course, I'm going to be adding the modality RRT. This is going to be all wrapped up in the mindset stuff because... This is been a game changer for me. Regulating your nervous system when you're going through launching is because before my nervous system would be like this, riding the highs, boom, oh my goodness, how many people just signed up? Oh yeah. And then we go mid-launch and it's like, oh my goodness, I'm so far from the goal. And then, oh my goodness, I've done it. And oh my goodness, that, that launch wasn't what I thought it was gonna be. It was amazing or it wasn't so amazing, okay? I've been there, done it. And I wanna kind of, package it all up as the go-to place so you really can truly feel confident in what it is that you're launching, what you're selling. So you can launch every single month if you choose to. You may be the entrepreneur that wants to launch every quarter. Amazing. Let's nail that, smash that, so then you know every quarter, boom, I know what I'm doing. And you also know what you're doing when you're not in that launch, okay? When you're either planning up to that launch or you're having a month where you don't launch anything. This is crucial. So when you do... Um, are launching in your business, you also can then predict your sales incomes. You're like, okay, yes, yeah, so this is when I'm launching so I can kind of look at around these numbers of what I'd like my intention to be for that month or that quarter or that year, right? And really lean into that spiritual entrepreneur that you are so that you can marry up the soul with the strategy, the masculine with the feminine. It's so important that these two are like a match made in heaven that they are equal, and that you're able to balance them rather than be thinking launching is really masculine. It's, yeah, I've got to do this and I've got to be like this. And, and then when you're not launching, that's when you tap into your feminine. What if we were to have a feminine launch? What if we could master both of them? And we knew when to tap into the masculine. We knew when to tap into the feminine. This is what I'm going to teach you in Launch Like a Boss. I'm so freaking excited. It starts next month. It's going to be uh, live calls every single um, week for the month of July. Do not worry. This is why I'm not saying when the dates are for the calls because it doesn't matter. If you can't make the live calls, you get access to the replay for lifetime. This will be the go-to program that you can keep going back to and tapping into, having it in your ears and going, yeah, okay, brilliant. I'm mapping out this type of launch, brilliant. This is what I'm launching, get Tash into my ears. Brilliant, I'm through the launch, let's get Tash into my ears so I can be like, boom, I've got my energy, I'm feeling really vibing, I'm feeling really good. So if this sounds like what you wanna be tapping into and you wanna spend the month of July bossing your launches like the boss that you are, then DM me the word boss and let's get you signed up. If anybody has any questions that they want to ask, then just literally send me a DM with your question um, and I'll answer that. And then probably later on the week, I'll do a question box over on my Instagram stories to answer anything more on that. But if use sounds like for you, then send me a DM with the word boss today, right now, whenever you're watching this. Mwah! Go and have an epic day and I look forward to having the most epic conversations with you in my DMs. Bye-bye. <laughs> See you later, Instagrammers.